Let's get started by talking about why should you learn Python. Well, Python is a programming language that's similar to JavaScript, but JavaScript is a client-side language and probably is the only client-side programming language for now. Python in web development is primarily focused on backend. So backends will make your website more interesting besides style. Um, so, uh, and Python can also help with machine learning and AI. So if you're interested in that field, you should also learn Python. And Python is also good at mathematics, web development, software development, and more, just to name a few. Um, yeah, so why don't we get started with Python? So make sure you're installed using Python. At least it's Python 3. You can go to python.org, download, choose your, um, if you're Windows, go Windows. If you're a MacBook, go Mac. Other platform like Linux, just go other platforms. And um, after you follow all the steps and install it, uh, by the way, um, um, by the way, Python 2 should be automatically installed to every MacBook. So if you have a MacBook, you probably already have Python 2 installed, but make sure you have Python 3. All right, so after you're done, you can open up your terminal or command prompt. You can, I'm not sure, probably, okay, maybe not. So probably you can type something like similar, like search for terminal in MacBook or command prompt in Windows. Um, so let's take a look. So if you type Python 3 dash dash version, you should see something like this. Maybe higher than that 3.8 or a little bit lower is fine. As long as it's around 3.56, it's fine. Um, so now I'm going to introduce another thing for you. So if you type Python 3 in here, you will see, um, it's a Python interpreter, so you can type your Python script here. But primarily, I'm gonna be using a tool called repo.it. So basically, let me log in really quick. So basically, this is a uh, um, we I will use this virtual tool so to make things easier. Uh, so we can learn stuff faster and then uh, I'm going to assume watch my JavaScript tutorial since JavaScript tutorial go pretty detailed on everything But for this I'm going to make a lot of comparison to JavaScript and um, I recommend you watch JavaScript tutorial first Well technically you'll watch this tutorial since I'm also going to go through but maybe a little bit faster so if you don't understand, feel free to comment below and I will try my best to help. All right, so now let's get into the syntax. So unlike JavaScript, so here is syntax. So first let's learn how to comment. This is how to comment in JavaScript. So, well, this is how to comment in JavaScript, uh, Python. So comment, uh, Comment in Java, so comment in Python just a hash. Uh, so you can type shift three, should give you this mark. And then multi like comment is three quote and three quote to end it. And then you can put stuff here. So first we can see video one um, syntax and commenting. So, um, so to compare this, so comment, so J JavaScript is this or this. Well, in Python, it's this or six quotes around it. That's how comment in Python. And also notice that um, if I type some Python script here, so let's just say, Python here, and then it turns out that um, Python is actually strictly forcing you to follow its pattern. So make sure you get your indentation right. 
Um, you can use space if you want. You can use tab if you want. I personally prefer tab. Usually, if I can choose, it's for space. But um, make sure you get tab for every indentation. Otherwise, it's going to return some error, which you're gonna see in later episode. Of uh, okay, so that's it. What I'm I'm going to covering for this video. So see you in next video where I'm going to talk about variable and data structures.